Welcome to Mission Minute News. I'm Dominican Sister Jean Harris. SSPS Sisters reporting. Every mission is a sign of the active presence of the Spirit and of the hand of God that accompanies people in concrete situations. It is the, in the mission where joy and pain, challenges of personal, community, and social accomplishments are intertwined. In Africa, we, sisters, servants of the Holy Spirit, are present in 10 countries within six regions. Angola, Benin, Botswana, Ethiopia, Ghana, the only province, Mozambique, South Africa, Togo, Uganda, and Zambia. The main characteristics of these countries are multiculturalism and multilingualism. The primary challenge in these missions is political and economic instability, which leads to violence and even war, the violation of basic human rights, and drastic increases in unemployment and poverty. There are few indigenous vocations. There is constant struggle with financial sustainability, insufficient number of sisters, and lack of resources. In the Americas, we have eight provinces and three regions. We are present in Argentina, three provinces, Bolivia, Brazil, two provinces, Chile, Cuba, Ecuador, United States, Mexico, Paraguay, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts, and Jamaica. Currently, our needs are to restructure the provinces and regions to work with laity in a relationship of equality, inclusion, and trust as they share our common mission. Also to help them learn our spirituality and charism. In Europe, there are six provinces and three regions, plus the General Eight House in Rome. We are present in 15 countries, Austria, England, Ireland, Germany, Italy, Greece, Spain, Portugal, the Netherlands, Slovakia, Romania, Poland, Russia, Ukraine, and the Czech Republic. Here too is a pressing need to offer formation to the laity in our spirituality and charism. Our overarching characteristics are a focus on mission and the richness of multiculturalism, collaboration among provinces and regions, the use of smart technologies, a preferential option for refugees, migrants, and the marginalized, and efforts to care for creation. But we face the challenges of secularism, the church's loss of credibility, xenophobia, fear of refugees, immigrants, and those who are different, and fundamentalist Christian views. Our Asia-Pacific mission includes 17 provinces and one region from Asia and two provinces from Oceania. We are present in Australia, Papua New Guinea, India, four provinces, Indonesia, five provinces, Japan, South Korea, the Philippines, two provinces, Taiwan, and East Timor. As of December 2020, our count in Asia Pacific is very large, 1,526 sisters, representing 53% of the entire congregation. They are experiencing growing collaboration and networking for mission with religious congregations, ecclesiastical institutions, laity, people of different faiths, professionals and experts, and government groups. Their challenges are the proliferation of human rights violations and social problems, violence, human trafficking, online sexual abuse, domestic child abuse, and many other issues. New vocations will be most welcome. 
If you have a comment or question about any of our stories, please email us at missionminutenews at wordnet.tv. You can also post your comments below each video on YouTube. We promise to respond. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Share with others about the channel and the variety of programs you enjoy there. Please join us every Wednesday for our online Eucharist and Adoration and Benediction of the Blessed Sacrament, starting at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. You can always catch it later on YouTube if that time isn't good for you. Send us your prayer requests or Eucharistic intentions by contacting us by phone at 909-383-4333 or send an email to mail at wordnet.tv. This is Mission Minute News. Until we meet again, peace to your heart and may Jesus' love for you make you smile.